good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i do have a brand new wwe elite figure custom for you guys and it is fantasy attire i've been teasing it the past few days you guys clicked on the video so you already know what it is and here it is and oh my good lord god on earth and in heaven at the exact same time would you look at this custom elite fantasy attire seth rollins in Punisher attire, my Lord Jesus, I love this thing to death. I was inspired to do this custom because I saw somebody. I, I hate it because I, I totally do not know who did this. I've totally forgotten now. I looked on Twitter. I could not find who it was. Somebody on Twitter and somebody that has created this, somebody created this on 2K. It's not exactly like it. I'll pop up a picture on the screen. You guys will be able to see what it's supposed to look like. I did change it up just a little bit, but I am super duper happy with the way that it came out. And um, it is fantasy attire Seth Rollins in a Punisher-themed attire. And you guys know, if you are a big fan of me or if you're a big fan of the channel, you guys know that the Punisher is my favorite Marvel character in the entire universe. And I am so excited with the way this thing ca came out. I did add the pistols that we used for the Jeff Hardy. And I think this one's from the NECA Chucky. This one is from some random Marvel Legends figure or Marvel Select figure. And what a beauty this is. We're going to go through the part selection. We're going to go through the paints that I use and everything in between. But I wanted to give credit to that guy. Whoever made this on 2K, I know that you can download this. Maybe if you look up Punisher Seth Rollins, you'll be able to find it. Or you can make my version of it because I did change it up just a little bit. But let's run through it real quick. Starting off with the head scan, I thought that the Elite 37 would be better for a Punisher. You know what I'm saying? Punisher's not happy and smiley like the top talent Seth Rollins head scan. So I figured why not throw that Elite 37 on there? It's more pissed off. It looks better. And I like it actually a little bit more. I wish that, you know, the top talents, I love the top talents head and it clearly has the best resemblance to Seth Rollins. But I think that it needs to, we need to have a version of that head scan in a pissed off look. I really like that this Seth Rollins is pissed off. It just works, and it looks so good, and I, I, I love the Elite 37 head scan. So that is what we use for the head scan. The arms, the torso, the crotch, and the upper leg, like up above the thigh swivel, is all top talent Seth Rollins. I use the Elite 52 vest. I figured... Why not use the Elite 52 vest? You know, if I use the SummerSlam vest, you're going to see red coming through. I could have used the Elite 45 or the TNF, I'm sure, but I, I went with the Elite 52. Obviously, the Elite 57, the gold one from WrestleMania 33, that one would not work because it's a completely different mold, and it's got the shield on it, and it's it's real weird. So I couldn't use that one. This one was the best one for my, uh, for, for my liking, so I went ahead and used my Elite 52 extra vest that I had laying around. Painted that up. If you guys want to see the bag, this is what it looked like. I did uh, paint splatter the Seth Rollins logo, add some black to it as well. And then we got, uh, of course, the skull on the front. We got some paint dripping. I did add this stuff on the sides here, and it all connects around. I really like the way it came out, guys. I, I am super duper excited for it. But continuing on with the part selection, going down, I did want to have the belt buckle on there because Seth Rollins always has the belt buckle on his tights there. So I wanted to make sure to use that Seth, uh, the top talents because, you know, it's, it's mainly black so why not use it? We got the SummerSlam Seth Rollins, the Elite. Uh, it's it's the, the brand new SummerSlam one with the red. I used the, the upper legs to that so I could have that SR logo on there to just paint over. It made it a lot easier and also it made it a lot easier to make these, uh, you know, the squares on the side or the side panels of these tights. It made it a lot easier for that. So I used the Seth Rollins Elite upper legs here and then the knee pads and the knees and the upper legs are all top talent Seth Rollins again giving it that black color, you know, no paint chipping in ish like that. And then the boots are SummerSlam Seth Rollins, and all I did was came in and painted over all the red with white. You can kind of see it coming through on the joints, but there's nothing you can do about that. So that is the complete formula for the thing. As far as paint goes, you guys obviously saw that we painted up the, uh, the vest here. We painted the white paneling on the sides. I painted over the white or the red Seth Rollins logo in white. I painted the Punisher logo on the right knee pad. Instead of having the SR logo like the guy had, I went ahead and added my own touch and added that Punisher logo. You got the white paneling on the side. You got the white over the red, and that is pretty much it. Of course, top talent Seth Rollins' arms work perfectly because it's black wrist tape and it has, or it's black gauntlets, if you will, or wrist straps with the white SR logo. So it works perfectly for Seth and that Punisher attire. I thought that worked out great. And that is it for the paint job. Obviously, we did use Apple Barrel Black. 
and this apple barrel black you can get this at walmart very cheap paint all you got to do is thin it i've usually i've literally used this for like three or four years now it's still not ran out it's still um almost halfway full still and um the, the bottles beat to hell but i still got it it's very cheap at walmart all you have to do is thin it out a little bit it'll work perfectly and then you could use apple barrel white from walmart but I use Ceramcoat. I like Ceramcoat a little bit better. I think it goes on the cleanliness. From Hobby Lobby, you can get this, and it's very beautiful. I use it for other colors as well, but white is one of those colors that Ceramcoat does pretty well, and you guys can see here on this custom that it worked out good. Again, thin that out just a little bit. You don't have to thin it out too, too much, but you do want to thin it out so it's not all thick and stuff. You want it to be on there cleanly. But um, if you guys can't see, I did dirty up the skull on the front. We got the paint dripping and I, I just freaking love this, man. I think it came out beautiful. This will go hand in hand with our Jeff Hardy Punisher Fantasy Attire Custom. And who knows, maybe they'll be a tag team. No, they're, they're not going to be a tag team on MDT Live. But that would be pretty sweet. They dress up like Punisher together. They run around just shooting people, taking out Roman and the Usos, and just taking out the whole freaking roster on MDT Live. But that's not what we're going to do. Um, but I hope you guys, I, or that's what I'm saying. I want to know what you guys think of this Seth Rollins down in the comment section below. Do you enjoy it? Do you guys like it? Let me know what you think. You know, what could we add? I honestly, I, I like the simplicity of it. You know, there's not a lot of Punisher going on on the tights, but I think that's what I like. The other guy didn't really have anything of Punisher on the tights. He just had the SR logos, and then the main Punisher part was on the vest, but I tied it in both because you have it on the vest and you have it on the knee pad. Even though that guy came up with the original idea, huge shout out to that guy. I'm not trying to rip into him at all. I thought the SR logo on the knee pad looked great. I just thought, why not put the Punisher logo there? Because um, Seth Rollins usually doesn't have, you know, logos and stuff all over his tights. If anything, he has like one little logo, and then the rest is just stripes and paneling, like we saw at the Rumble, like we saw at SummerSlam, like we saw at SummerSlam uh, years before and years before. It's usually just line work and then one logo, or line work and no logos. So uh, I figured why not just put an SR logo there, Punisher logo there, and we'll call it a day. And I love it. I'm, I'm really happy with the way it came out. I think the Elite 37 head does it well because Punisher's not going around smiley. I, I like it. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts down below. Comment down below what you think of the custom right here. And I'm pretty sure that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to show off this custom. I was working on a custom championship that I also want to show you guys, but I guess I'll have to wait until a later date to show you that. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, comment down below what you think of the Seth Rollins custom. If you guys want to download this on 2K, again, I, I don't know what it's called or what that guy's creator name is, but if you type in maybe hashtag Punisher, hashtag Seth Rollins, maybe it'll pop up. But thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you